This episode has been brought to you by Legacy Construction and Zenith. Hey guys, welcome back to your next episode of Coach's Corner. Today we're going to change things around a little bit and we're going to go back to this offensive side of the ball and talk about creating a play card. All right? A lot of coaches go into the game and some guys just want to run their favorite plays and they do it over and over again, right, left, right, left. All right? Creating a play card kind of allows you to, to open up your offense. All right? Change things up, run the right plays in certain situations and kind of keep you calm and level-headed during the game. It's a lot going on, substitutions, other coaches yelling, other things going on. So creating an offensive call sheet for you and your staff will, will definitely help the game and change the pace of the game. Slow it down and allow for more action. All right, let's go to the board. All right, here on the board I got my, um, my spreadsheet, if you will, all right, for today's show. All right, we're going to talk about it. Over here, when I like to get started on my call sheet, I would like to put down and distance over here. So I know what plays I want, all right, throughout the week, and I've thought about it. We've worked on our plays. I know what I want to come out with. So first and 10, I want to put my plays there, all right? Another column, I want to put second down, all right? Second and long, all right? This is all down and distance things I want to go here. Second and short, all right? Second and short, all right? Third and long. Okay. All right. Now, third and short. Fourth down. And we're going to say fourth and short because you don't really have play fourth down. We know we're going to punt the ball. All right. So, with our down and distance being up on the board, and being on our chart, our first part we want to sit is we know we go through our plays and we see what we work, what we've um, been successful with, okay? And then we know what we want to attack, okay, versus our opponent. So we've game planned them, we've watched our video, we've practiced on what we want to attack and their flaws, okay? And what we want to do. So when we're working down in this, we want to make sure that we understand what we want to do. We know what we want to do. First and ten is going to always be open. So we can have runs, pass, so you can kind of mix it in there. A run, a pass, however you want to do. All right, and you know some guys may put three or four plays, some guys may put five. All right, so in each column, we can put different plays. We know we get the second and ten, second and long. All right, things didn't go as well. Um, we know we may want to put a screen in there. All right, we know pretty much that we probably will pass, but you also have teams that will run. So you still got to put everything is by your situation. So you got to sit down and think about what you want to do when these things arise. Pre-game, all right, not as the game goes. So now you look up, you look at the sticks. You're on the field, you look at the sticks, of plays just run, you can look at your card and say, okay, look, where are we? Okay, we're second and 10, second and nine, and get nothing there. All right, that's what I like. I like that play. Now, if you don't like that play, you have something else you want to go with, then that's, that's, all, that's totally on you. All right, but having it there and having options is, is very beneficial, all right? So, next thing, you kind of, me, I would like to have my plays by formation, all right? So I put my plays down by formation, all right? So I'll have whatever formation I got there. I got doubles here, I got trips, all right, I got pro, I got whatever, I got spread, Okay, so now I go with my formation. So out of these formations, I go with my favorite plays. I go with my favorite runs, favorite pass, kind of even it up. Maybe two by two, maybe three by three. Three runs, three passes out of each one. And now I like to work out of that. All right, so the defense is kind of giving me a, a certain look that I like and versus a certain um, formation. Okay, then I'll stick with that and we'll work out of that until they change it. So he kind of helps you with your chess game. All right, helps you with your chess game. All right. Now, also, you get in here and you want to say, okay, well, I got another situation where I get in and, and I need the special play, all right? I need a special play. So you may have your screens, 
right? You may have your screens here, okay? You may have a variety of screens. You may have a couple draws. They may be in a different category, or you may combine these categories with draws and screen. All right? You may combine them with draws and screen. Okay? So, this is always a go-to list that you can use. And you know in third and long and in, in situations where you know you need to do something to surprise the defense or, or, or create a spark. Okay? All right. So, now as we get to our next column, all right, we went over down and distance. We've added formations. All right? Now, some guys would like to add and go by the play. All right, so we'll create a run play. So we'll create by the play over here. So when we go by the play, we'll go blue. We'll go, okay, I got a trap. All right, so it'll just be a different formation. All right, maybe with some motions, whatever, but different variations of trap. All right, this will be inside zone. This will be outside zone. All right, this will be counter. This will be sweep. Okay? And then here, if I got to go with a play, a specific, specific play I need, okay, what I'll do is I'll go right here, and I have a list of plays that I know that we can run, that it can be successful, that might catch the guys off guard, that'll work there. Okay, now in passing situations, okay, we kind of want to do the same thing, so we'll put what our two by two passes, our three by one pass game, okay, our motions, okay, plays that we like to use with motion, all right, and then special plays, all right, so here will be our pass game where we have specific pass plays, just like our trap, just like here, all right? And we'll use our plays with motions. So plays that we like with motion, we'll put there motion in across, running jet, or motion across, running rocket, or just out leveraging and running a flood out of a trips concept, running motion. And then your special plays, your reverse, your throwback pass, your, your Philly special, your, your, you know, your flea flicker. You put all your special plays here. All right, and this is just a simple way. I'm not saying you have to do it like this. You can break your board down however you want to do it, but just wanted to show guys um, an effective way, okay, of game plan, an effective way of going through the game and helping yourself be more organized on the sideline, okay, creating more of a sync, more of a system, okay, and having guys on the same page and understanding the awareness of the down and distance, the plays, the hash, where the ball's marked, substitution, um, this can help with all of that, okay? Um, guys, thank you. Hope that you can use this um, with your team and organize your offense. All right, thank you. See you again next week.